Hi friends, I am Sangeeta. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'll show you the growth of my taro plants. This is my taro plants, which I grew from the germinated taros, which you can find it in Asian shops, any Asian shops, easily it's available in any Asian shops. It took few weeks, after few weeks it started coming out, you can see the tiny one, you can see the tiny little one is growing in the pot and few I trying to grow in this bag but because of squirrel I tried to save them so I put the rose sticks there and put the net to save my taro plants from the squirrel. And you can see this tiny one, it started coming at the germinated, you can do the shoots, you can see there. So yes, I grew these taro plants in this reusable bag. And you can see now how big it is. It looks amazing. Taro leaves and stems are very rich with iron and it's very healthy. Anyway, this plant is very easy to grow. Only thing you have to keep in mind, the soil needs to be very moist. So watering should be properly, you should water the plants. This one I grew in pots. So I brought it inside. As winter is approaching, I'm trying to save at least one taro plant. That's why I brought it inside. Let's see. I think I grew these taro plants in end of June, so it took three months to grow. But you can see how big it is and how green it looks like. When we cut our taro leaves or stems, our hands can be itchy, which is very common. It's because of calcium oxalate. And again, if you do not cook your taro enough, then also you'll get your uncomfortable itchy throat. So this is my shopping, taro shopping from my garden today. Here I separated the leaves and the stems because I will use both the things. So first you need to take out the skins from the taro stems. Here I will use one simple recipe where I will use stems and the leaves both the parts I will use in this recipe. Chop the stems and leaves very finely. This is very easy, simple and very healthy recipe. So please try this recipe. So to remove these itchy properties, the calcium oxalate, soak your stems and the leaves in salty water for 15 to 20 minutes. After 15 minutes, I'll steam these stems and the leaves for 5 minutes to remove extra itchy properties. So it will be totally itchy free. Then strain it to remove the water. Now our taro leaves and stems are ready to cook. So next step I am going to show you how do I cook this recipe. It's really fun when you can collect some ingredients from your own kitchen garden. So I am collecting chilies from a chili plant which I grew in the pot. And I showed you in earlier videos. Here are my fresh chilies from my plant. So let's start cooking now. In this recipe, I'll use baby prawns. So first, I'll fry this baby prawns with little bit salt and turmeric powder. Once it's done, I'll keep it inside these prawns. In the same pan, I'll add one tablespoon of oil and temper with one red chili, one bay leaves, and half teaspoon of cumin seeds. Now time to add those stem, taro stems and the leaves, the spinach we had chopped and stemmed earlier. Mix it nicely and I'll add half teaspoon of turmeric powder and salt as per your taste. And chilies from my plant. Mix it nicely. 
and I'll cover it for 5 minutes. After 5 minutes, it's, you can see almost it's cooked all boiled properly, cooked properly now. Now I will add half teaspoon of sugar but it's optional as per your taste. You can add or you can remove this thing. 2 tablespoon of fresh coconut and I will add fried prawn which I fried and kept it aside before. I will add those and I'll mix everything together now give it a good mix so my taro spinach is ready now it's very simple very healthy and very yummy recipe it's very rich in iron and cooking is almost done you can see there is no water left now everything came together serve with with steamed rice Thanks for watching. If you like my video, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. See you all later in my next video. Bye-bye.